Good day friends, how are you today? As you might have seen a little while ago, news started to trickle in that Nintendo wants to do something very special for Mario's 35th anniversary, which is this year, and that is remaking most, if not all, 3D Mario games. Well, I call it news, but it's a rumor of course. But still, it's very likely it will happen, as a lot of credible video game news sources confirmed this fact who all seem to have some inside scoops. This can still mean that it won't happen, but with so many people confirming the fact and not just copying it from each other, it actually might be true, which is very interesting. Now, one game that caught my eye immediately was Super Mario 64, my entry to 3D gaming, and one of my most beloved games from my childhood. It was the basis what every other 3D Mario game would become, and I love it so much to this day. And if this is true, we will probably see the standard things that you might expect from a remake. Better graphics, the beautiful soundtrack remastered or orchestrated, a free moving camera, and just more quality of life improvements. But what are some other things that they could add to enhance the experience of this game? I always believe that you shouldn't mess too much with things that already work. Like the Link's Awakening remake for instance. Same game, just better looking and some tweaks here and there. But if we got to pick 5 things that they could do better, then what should it be? Let me tell you. Oh, and if you have something that you would like to see different in Mario 64, then let me know in the comments too. Let's begin! Now let's start with a small improvement that could go a long way. Let's look at the beginning of 64 here. Notice anything? Or let's go inside. Maybe something here? No? Well, that's what I mean. It's just a bit empty. I mean we have trees, but for the rest it's mostly just grass. And I understand that a huge part of fixing this is improved graphics. You have to understand that the 64 just couldn't have lush flower fields and tree leaves moving in the wind. Or what about toads walking around the castle trying to find the princess? I loved how they did that in Odyssey. But here they are just standing against the wall, smiling. Dude, your freaking princess is missing. Your holiness. The whole reason that you exist. And you're just standing there smiling like a maniac? At least try to find her or something. Once again, that wasn't a problem on the 64. I mean, that game wasn't built to have a lot of things going on at the same time. And I also understand that part of the charm is that Bowser has taken over the castle and that's why things aren't going as they normally should. But that's why I want those guys to panic, have some conversation, or throw Toadette in there, or Toad's word or something. It's all about making that world feel alive, to feel that pressure that the princess is gone. And some more NPCs and environment upgrades would make sure that the Mushroom Kingdom breathes and actually feels like a place where the princess and Toads live. So I'm hoping for a bit more action in that sense. And what is a great way to keep the overall look of the game the same, but also change it up a bit appearance-wise to make it fresh? Outfits, baby! I love this aspect about Odyssey. Choosing the perfect clothes to go in your adventure? And I think something like that could perfectly translate in Mario 64 as well. Imagine this. You have beaten a whole level. Collected every star, obtained every coin, beat every boss. Then what would be the ultimate reward? A cool outfit, of course, in the style of each specific level. It would make 100%ing a stage so much more fun, with a cool reward waiting for you at the end. I think it would be really cool to make an outfit specific to each stage. After a bomb field, you get a cool bomb outfit with a fuse for a hat, and a cool Guy Fieri style outfit after Lethal Lava Land. Okay, that might be a bit far fetched, but you could do some cool fire clothes for that, and a mummy outfit for shifting sands. There is a lot that you can do with this idea. Just make it pure aesthetically. You don't need extra powers or something like that. Just some cool extra visual aspect as a reward. So you can change up Mario in any way that you want. I think it's the perfect way to mix it up in the remake. It gives you an extra incentive to do just a little bit of extra work and it freshens up the game without taking anything away from the core experience. Which already is solid. It only adds a lot of fun. Let's talk about the Mario 64 DS remake for a second. Personally, it wasn't the thing that I had been waiting for. The controls just weren't that fluent on the DS, which made it difficult to navigate a character in a 3D space. And although I did like the inclusion of more characters, it also made for some stars that had to be unlocked by a specific person, which took the speed out of the game a little bit. I know I'm nitpicking, but it wasn't just totally for me. 
One thing that I really did enjoy about that game was a little extra mode, which you could use to switch up the gameplay if you had enough of adventuring for a second. And that was minigames. These were based on the mechanics of the touchscreen of the DS, and they actually were incredibly fun. It was just a fun little side thing, but I spent countless of hours in there just because of the addictive nature of those games. So why not add them on Switch as well? They don't have to be the same ones, but it would be cool to make some more use of the Joy-Con technology. I mean Super Mario Party was a step in the right direction, but also nothing more than that. So give us a handful more of these puzzles and brain teasers or eye strainers or whatever. I always liked the Where is Waldo like puzzles where you have to search for a specific phase in a crowd of other characters. Or what about the mini game where Yoshi is pulling flower petals off a flower? It's a great way to realize that nobody loves me and cry for a good second. It could also be a cool way to implement an additional feature so you can play with multiple people, trying to beat each other in minigames. And speaking of multiple people, let's continue to number two. One of the oldest features that they actually wanted to put in the original Mario 64 but couldn't do so because of the system capabilities was multiplayer. And even with the DS version they decided not to do so. So I think now is the perfect time. On the 64 they wanted to add Luigi so badly into the game but that meant having much more simpler levels, which was a no-go for the team. So unfortunately, the younger brother had to go. Just read this quote by Koizumi when asked about Luigi in 64. Yes, we ran it that way. But when we made the landforms because of hardware limitations, we had a choice between cutting Luigi or making less elaborate landforms. Then in tears, we had to ask Luigi to leave. So it sounds that they had some pretty cool ideas with that. And I would love to see it as an additional mode in 64. Cause I think a multiplayer would work really well in that game. With player 1 being Mario and player 2 Luigi of course. Now you could of course say that you can do levels together. Which could become quite chaotic when you try to platform with two people at the same time. Which I think would also be incredibly fun. Or it could function as some extra help during boss battles. Adding specific multiplayer challenges is also an option. Imagine the race on Babam Field against Koopa the Quick, only now you race against an actual other player. Once again, that could be some chaotic fun. It would be a nice addition to switch up the gameplay, and I think it could deliver a lot of extra value. What I loved about Mario Odyssey was all the extra content that was waiting for you after you've beaten the story mode. You could of course visit all the places that you've been to before to collect all the moons, but there was even more additional content if you pressed on. Like the darker side of the moon, which was pretty difficult. But also the ultimate challenge for people that wanted to show off skills that they learned in Mario Odyssey. So why not add something like that in Super Mario 64? Some post game content that takes everything that you learned through the course of the game for an ultimate test. The movements in 64 aren't as crazy as in Odyssey. But if they would rework the wall jump, long jumps and sliding stages a bit, I think you could have a really fun total package for the end of the game. Then of course if you would finish those stages you could get some extra rewards. Like the multiplayer thing. Or maybe now you can choose to play as Mario or Luigi. Or what about riding Yoshi around? How cool would that be? And of course outfits. Give me some extra cool skins to switch it up. I mean we got the Super Mario 64 model in Odyssey as a special costume. So give me the Odyssey one for this game. Or maybe even the bathing suit for some more thick Mario nip action. But it doesn't just have to be a difficult stage. They could also give us access to a part of the castle that wasn't accessible before. Maybe a secret area behind a waterfall. Or maybe the castle's kitchen. So we can finally see what the ingredients are of the delicious looking cake that we have been teased with all these years. There is a lot that you can do with this, and most importantly, it wouldn't damage the core 64 experience. It would just build upon it, and provide some extra challenge for those that are seeking some more content. So that's it. 5 extra additions that I think could go a long way in making Mario 64 an even richer experience. And I know I haven't talked a lot about 6040S, which I think didn't always hit the mark when it came to recreating that 64 experience. I would suggest taking the original 64 version as a basis and build from there. But now I want to go to the most important part, and that is you. Is there something that you would love to see added to Super Mario 64 on Switch to make it even better? Or is it already perfect as is? 
Let me know in the comments because I'd love to know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to XPREF to get many more videos about Mario, Super Smash and all other good Nintendo stuff. Leaving a like on your way out is also super duper cool. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.